Hey everyone, welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. Let's get right into the video. First, go to the search bar and type Disk Management and hit Enter. Right click here and click Shrink Volume. In the enter amount of space to shrink in megabytes, type 4960. That equals 40 gigs. That's the recommended amount of megs you need to put in here. And hit enter. Right click here and click new simple volume. Click next. Next again. Next again. And rename the volume label to Windows 11. And hit enter. And click finish. You'll see here that the partition's been added. Click X and go back to your folder. Double click on GIMGX. And now choose the folder that corresponds to your architecture of Windows. Mine is 64 bit, so I'm going to choose X64. Double click on the GIMGX executable file. On the user account control pop up, click Yes. Click Apply and click Source. Go back to your folder and double click on Windows 11 install.wim file folder and double click this. And for your destination, choose the partition that we just made, which is Windows 11 on the E drive. Click OK and click Apply. Now that it's finished, we're going to click Close. We're going to X out of this. Double click on EasyBCD 2.0 folder. Double click on the EasyBCD 2.4 executable. On the user account control pop-up, click Yes. On the setup, click Next. I agree. Next. And install. Click finish. We're going to minimize the folder tab here. We're going to click add a new entry. Make sure this is set to Windows. And rename the name here to Windows 11. Now choose the drive letter that you've created a new partition on. If you're not sure, open File Explorer, head over to this PC, and you'll see it's on the E drive. We'll X out of that and select the letter E. Now that you've finished that, click the green and white plus button. And you'll see that Windows 11 has been added to the boot menu. We'll click edit boot menu and set Windows 11 to the default operating system. And click save settings. We can X out of that and you're good to go. We'll restart our system. As you can see, after we finish restarting our system, we can see two boot options, Windows 10 and Windows 11. If you want to boot into Windows 11, press the arrow keys, either up or down, on your keyboard, and highlight Windows 11, as you can see here, and hit enter. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the video, and if it helped you out, please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment if this video helped you out, or if it didn't. Thanks. Have a great day.